was a lot of speeding, there were safety concerns along the street, which is just not acceptable on a residential street. We saw that there's an opportunity that we could bring a dedicated lane and facility for pedestrians since there aren't currently any sidewalks. We are here today installing an artistic tactical walk lane. This street is 37 feet wide, so we have excess width that we need to repurpose for our citizens. We've got a little bit of everything from school-aged children to seniors who are walking along this pedestrian walk lane. A lot of the folks in this area walk from the school to transit to some of the local neighborhood shops. We're using flex posts and wheel stops and white stripes to delineate the pedestrian walk lane and hopefully we'll reduce some of those traffic speeds as well. Asphalt art gives us the opportunity to input something safe for the community to actually use. And it's art, so everyone gets to enjoy the walk from their homes onto the streets that would normally be unsafe. The dogwood flower I use because it's a representation of hope, new life, rebirth. And essentially, I want that to be a reflection of this neighborhood, to bring hope to a safer and better community. A lot of times, we don't get the chance to do some of the smaller neighborhood streets. This grant with Bloomberg Philanthropies gave an opportunity to sort of demonstrate what that process looks like and some of the projects you could use to do tactical urbanism in the community. It's really difficult to do this kind of project without partnerships. You need the city involved. We obviously need to partner with the community and engage them in order to be able to get buy-in. So you need to have all of these different components involved in order for this project to happen. My kids had an awesome time coming out. I just enjoy the fact that the kids have safe spaces to move and they can see themselves represented and see something they have done within the community.